an empty pie crust, a bunch of limes and a bunch of strawberries, and a bunch of pineapples and some fruit. Oh look, it's your favorite Fruit Loop. Hey everybody, Crumb Boss. Hey, here. Fruit Loop, what are you doing? I'm looking for my, oh here it is, my little knife. I thought you, I thought you were focusing today. I am focused. Yeah. Hey everybody, today we're going to make a summer mixed berry and fruit tart. Crumb Boss, how's your summer been going? Summer? What's that? Somebody asked me today, well, what do you do for fun? I said, fun? What's fun? Exactly. I said, I do my laundry, I go to the doctor, I get my oil changed on my day off. That's about it. That's <laughs> about it, yeah. <laughs> Every day I go to work and do crumb boss and do pastries, it's fun. Exactly. And then you go to the gym. That's right. Yes. So what do we got here, crumb um, boss? We, all the different fruits that I'm going to use for my fruit tart. Now, I think we may have done uh, this already, like in our earlier videos. Yeah, but I think you made like an individual one. I don't remember. I don't really remember either. Back have... in the early days of Crumb Boss TV. Exactly. Um, you want to watch a funny episode? Go watch um, all 330 and emails. <laughs> emails, let, let us know which one you like the best. Uh, I had have to say, the I would have to say eggnog cake pops. Oh, I talk about that one. All eggnog the time. cake pops is. They're all good in their own way. Go watch eggnog cake pops if you really want to laugh. All right, let's go, everybody. This is going to take a little while, so we got to get going on this. You are going to need a couple of different base recipes. All right. right? You're going to need to have a tart shell. You actually said a pie shell, I think, in the beginning. This yeah. is actually a tart shell, which is made from the cookie dough recipe. Okay. And then you're going to have to make some vanilla pastry cream, which I've already got in my pastry bag here. That's not vanilla buttercream. No, no. This is custard. Same thing like we do for eclairs and cream pops, like okay. the stuffing on that. All right. So you'll have to make your two base recipes first. All right. Um, but I've already done that. Yeah. Um, what I like to do, <laughs> whenever I do um, a tart that has a soft or a semi-liquidy filling. I mean, it's not a liquidy filling, but it is a moisture that we're gonna put into here. And I don't want my tart shell to get soggy. Yeah. No. So, and also, if you notice, I broke some of my tart shell here. See, that is broken? Yes. So I'm gonna glue that back together with some white chocolate. Oh, how convenient and, yeah. white chocolate. And no one will ever know. Exactly. So that's the first step of making a fruit tart, is to just coat the bottom of your shell with some white chocolate. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah, that helps your that's tart cool. shell stay crispy and you won't have a soggy shell. Do other people know that? I don't know. I give away secrets on Crumb Boss TV, guys. Yes. So. Uh, so there we go. So coat your thing. Coat your tart shell with your white chocolate. Right. All right. And then when that sets, we yes. can go ahead and put the vanilla custard into the shell. I've put it into a pastry bag just to make it a little bit easier for me to pipe it in here. Oh, nice. Okay. You don't need the pastry bag. You could just do it with a spatula and then smooth it. So that's that. Okay. I also like to put a little dab of white chocolate on my board so that my tart shell doesn't slide around. No when I go to serve that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna actually um, unmold this. Oh boy. Yeah, this is the tricky part. Is that the $56,000 knife? Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. All right, so there's that. Okay, so we got the tart shell on the golden board. All right. And we're gonna... I'm gonna transfer it over to, well wait, let me do this first. Um, what I also like to do is put a thin layer of um, cake in between the custard and where I'm going to place the fruits. Okay. And this is the uh, crumble base recipe vanilla cake. That's right. Oh, somebody asked, uh, can you make a vanilla cupcake recipe? The vanilla cupcake recipe is the vanilla cake That's recipe. That's right. You just put it into cupcake liners instead of a cake pan. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, so there's that. And the reason why we do that is for the same reason of the liquid. The fruit is a little bit liquidy. You don't want it to go into the custard and make like this weird, like, uh, you know, just like a Like a big mess. mess. Yeah, yeah, it's going to like break down the custard. Something that I would make. Yeah. <laughs> so then we put this cake here. Okay. All right. Now, um, you guys, I'm using strawberries, blueberries. I'm using some canned pineapple. I've got kiwis. I'm using mandarin oranges. Okay. And that's how I'm going to decorate my fruit tart. You guys can do it however you like. All right. Yeah. So if you, whatever you like. What's that? This is some uh, melted apricot jelly. All right. Um, some people are having trouble finding that. I really don't know 
a substitute for that yeah um in your country you know what i mean like basically <laughs> we just take smuckers jelly smuckers and melt it down we're a couple of schmucks in the microwave if yes. you melt jelly in the microwave it's going to get liquid like all right that. so i brushed a little bit of it on there yep now what i'm going to do actually what i want to do i want to make a little glue for my fruit okay so i used more custard and the fruit is going to kind of stick into this now Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So now I could just start arranging however I want to arrange. And this is how I do it. You guys can feel free to do it any way you like. Yeah, but of course it looks cool. All right. I like to do it like that. And the is wow. <laughs> so this is called the Summer Fun Berry Fun? Summer for yeah, sure. Whoops. What do you, what it, what's it called, Gretchen? Uh, fruit tart. Summer fruit tart. Whoa. Summer fruit tart with the crumb boss. I mean, I don't really have a vision. I'm just kind of going for it. Okay. How much time do you I have? I have a vision. You have six, it's six, only six minutes. I have six minutes? No, you have four minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. So she's making a summer fun fruit fart. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be you. <laughs> That's what Steph makes. Yeah, summer farts. <laughs> fruit farts, you know. More, more like broccoli television. <laughs> God. I messed up, Gretchen. <laughs> we never mess up on Chrome Boss TV. Everything's perfect. I know. All right, okay, so, so here we go. Summer I'm just, fun just fruit trying tart. To find ways to get all my fruit to fit in here. Like Here's a little trick for you guys. If you ever need to cut a kiwi, yes. if your kiwi is ripe enough, you can cut off the ends. Yes. Stick a spoon under the skin. Watch this. And just rotate your kiwi. Nice. And out pops your fruit. Holy Christmas, look, that's cool. See? I love you, Crumbos. Aw, oh, thanks. You, you make everything so much easier. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. This takes longer than I expected. I thought I could do this in 10 minutes. Well, you're not focusing. I'm <laughs> kidding. It's beautiful. What do you guys say? Clap your hands. Like if you put the thumbs up if you like the Crumb Boss's fruit cut cake fart. Fruit farts. Fruit fart cake. <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm wide awake. It's all good. Everything's good. Everything's good. All right. Uh, put on the oranges. Yeah. What a mess, huh? What oh a mess God. I'm making over here. Yeah, that's cute. So really, you know, just guys, put it wherever you want. I like to just fill in the cracks here. I like blueberries. Yeah, they, they look nice. Look how big the blueberries are right now that I got. Um, I just ate one. Of course you did. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, look how big they are. I can really arrange them nicely. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Look at that. Now you're seeing it again, ladies and gentlemen, Crumb Boss's fruit cake. Fruit, fruit tart. Fruit tart. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, also, if you wanted to use raspberries, blackberries, peaches, like, you know, really, whatever you want to use. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, there's that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost out of time. How much time we got? Mm, a couple, that's 8.30. Well, we'll we get it. Because basically mm -hmm. what I'm going to do next, after you get all your fruit arranged yep. on top, yep. you yep. just go back. Yep. And you take your apricot glaze that's been melted and you brush it over top to give it a real nice shine. Okay. See that? That's beautiful. And that's really it. That's how you make a summer fruit tart with the crumb boss. Summer fruit tart with the crumb boss. It's absolutely stunning. People write in, where can I get the recipe? Look at that. Holy Christmas. That's beautiful. You're so talented. Crumb boss. Who remembers a time back in 2011 when the world was a simpler, easier, more fun place to be? In a small bakery in northern New Jersey, two friends got together every week determined to teach the world how to bake. Come on. And the producer. And YouTube was never the same. <laughs> It sunk like the Titanic yeah. in here. <laughs> Yay! Crumb Boss and producer! Crumb Boss, everybody! Whether it was making the number one recipe on YouTube for buttercream, or icing fudge brownies, or teaching the world how to make eclairs, I was literally always working. Wait, that doesn't sound right. So, here we are in 2020, and well, YouTube, it's time to get ready. Hold on to your crumb buns, because guess what's coming back? Hey! Better, bigger, and so much more exciting.
Wait, one more thing. Don't forget to check us out on our other channels at Funhouse TV and Gretchen's Vegan Bakery.